Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tough Toy Tryouts. We strive every day to make this channel better and bring new content for you to enjoy so be sure to subscribe if you have it and hit that bell icon to receive alerts whenever we post something new. Before we introduce this week's toy, I wanted to introduce our new Patreon page. By now most of you know what Patreon is so I'll just ask that you use the card in the upper right hand corner or the link in the description below to find out how you can help us grow and ultimately reach our goal of opening a dog foster program specializing in rehoming dogs from countries that use dog protein. This week, we're taking a look at the Kong Genius referred to us by Laura Incognito. This particular model came in orange and is called Mike after the world-renowned genius Michelangelo. It's also available in various colors and a couple different shapes and can all fit together to create different puzzles to entice your pets. And if the toys themselves aren't enough for your pups, simply slide a treat inside and watch the fun begin. The material used is a softer rubber material rated for average chewers and is of course made right here in the US. Of a. So, now that we know what we're testing this week, let's roll this orange thing on over to Story and see how it holds up after a week's heavy abuse. And here it is, covered in who knows what, but looking pretty good. We got a lot of play out of this toy and even had a guest appearance from Bailey, stories on. We're going to try something new this week. Instead of breaking down our review into categories, we'll simply list the strengths and weaknesses of the toy and give our final verdict. Starting out with the strengths, the Kong Genius Mike is an excellent fetch toy. At first we thought it would be mostly a chew toy and be destroyed within the first day, but Story actually preferred chasing the thing around. Due to its shape and material, the Genius Mike bounces erratically, so you're never really sure where it'll go or how high. This keeps your pup engaged and entertained for hours. When your arm needs a little break, throw in a couple treats like we did here. We used our super simple four ingredient dog treats, which is linked on the screen and down in the description, but you can use just about any treat that fits. It took Story about 15 minutes to get a treat out the first time, but she quickly became a pro and simply picked up the toy and dropped it continuously until a treat popped out. The great thing about the Genius product line is if the toy gets too easy for your pup to use, simply get the other version called the Leo, short for Leonardo da Vinci, and plug that baby in. Now you've got a more intricate puzzle for your pup to figure out, and the price isn't horrible either for such a reusable toy which sells at around 6 to 9 bucks depending on the size and shape you purchase. Now let's tackle the weaknesses of the toy. The first thing is obviously the material used for the toy. If your puppy decides they'd rather chew this toy, it likely won't last very long. It's made from a plasticky rubber type material closer to the squeeze line, but a little tougher. It's clearly labeled for average chewers, so keep that in mind. Also, though I left this toy out for story, make sure that your pet prefers to not chew this toy before leaving it out for them. The other downside is that you can't play tug with it. It's a pretty slick material and there simply isn't enough grip for anyone so it's purely for fetch and for puzzling your pup. Also, due to the material, when this thing gets slobbery it's really gross to pick up and throw. And obviously, as you saw, it picks up pretty much every hair that's on the ground. Now that we know more about the toy after a week's worth of testing, what's the final verdict? The Kong Genius Mike receives a well-deserved 4 out of 5 bones and story seal of approval. It has its flaws, but it's still a very well-designed toy that has lots of reusability, especially if you add on to the toy later on. It's useless for playing tug, but if you want your pup to earn a treat or to have a spastic fetch toy, you can't go wrong with this one. And that's where we end this week's episode. Let us know if you like the new format and rebranding we've been doing. We're constantly evolving to bring you the best content we can, and if you're liking it, hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. We're releasing these and other videos early on Patreon, so check that out and see other rewards you can get for donating. Until the next episode, have an amazing week, and thanks for watching.